Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So today is kind of a different um, episode, I guess. We are going to be talking about how to crochet faster. So this really isn't going to be like a sit down and explain to you how to crochet faster. These are just the ways that I've been able to. Um, I get asked this a lot on my Facebook lives because I'm doing Tunisian crochet and I'm kind of just speeding through it and I just talk to you guys as I do this, but you also have to remember I've been crocheting for 20 years off and on, not consistently through the 20 years, but I do have a few things that I've learned, um, especially while prepping for markets or big sales or things like that. So we're going to go over those here in just a minute and I'll explain to you like what I do to crochet faster, but I want to preface this with like, you don't have to crochet fast. Like that's not a rule. That's not like a end all be all. Like your goal is to crochet as fast as you can. You can crochet at whatever pace you want. You want to make one row a day, go for it. You want to make a whole blanket. You are a much better crocheter than I am in that case, because I can't in that sense of it, because I can't make a blanket in a day. That's not going to happen. Um, but, and not better crocheter, faster crocheter. It's just, there's, there's so much to it and I don't ever want anybody to think that crocheting is a speed race. Um, myself and Courtney are pretty fast crocheters. She's much faster than I am. Um, but also I have the attention span of a goldfish. So I get very distracted when I'm crocheting. So while I'm sitting crocheting with you guys, doing my Facebook lives on Thursdays, I can focus on you guys, but you still see me get sidetracked with my yarn behind me or looking something up that you've asked me. Um, but at least for the sake of how to crochet faster, I've got a couple tips for you. So I am going to grab my yarn. I'm going to kind of show you what I do and hopefully this helps. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're a faster crocheter or what you do to crochet faster, I'd love to hear it. Um, but remember you don't have to, you can just crochet whatever speed you want and just have fun with it because that's the whole point of crocheting is to have fun. So let's get started. Hi friends. Don't forget when you click the link below and subscribe today to join Happily Hook Magazine, not only are you getting access to the coolest crochet community on the internet, you're also getting this amazing project bag that I use every single day and these ergonomic hooks. So click the link below, subscribe today, and I cannot wait to see you in the community. All right, so we are here to learn how to crochet faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to sit here and make a little gauge swatch because I want to just sit here and crochet with you all while I tell you about my five tips for crocheting faster. So if you have been over to my Facebook Lives, I'm working on a Tunisian temperature blanket over there. And a lot of you all have asked, how do I crochet so quickly? Um, and I'm not, an incredibly fast crocheter, but I can be if I get in the zone and I get focused or if I really want to be. Um, but my basic crochet skills kind of make it easier for me to go a little bit faster because I don't really work on anything too chaotic. So my first tip that I recommend is use a bigger yarn or a bigger hook size. And I know this sounds really silly, but if you're making something in a fingering weight yarn, the ability for it to go really fast is silly. Um, it's tiny. It's a very thin yarn. You can crochet fast with it, but the project won't finish as quickly as it would if you were working in like a worsted weight or something. And obviously you want to make sure that you're using the right yarn for your project, but if you're needing that quick speed boost to feel better, um, which believe me, I understand, go grab some like super bulky yarn and make a granny square or grab some velvet yarn and make a scrunchie, make something small and fast in a thick yarn and that'll boost that confidence up. So going back to working with the fingering weight yarn will feel better. You'll just, you'll just fly through it because you'll have that like that speed bonus in your head that like, I can do this really fast and it won't feel like it's taking so long. Um, always another, like I said, with the hook sizes, you can definitely go up in a hook size. It will go faster, but make sure if you're going to change that hook size, you do a gauge swatch so you know 
what you're gonna have to adjust for your pattern that you're following. My second step is always make sure that you cake your yarn or you have it untangled and ready to go. I love to cake my yarn. I think it's a great idea to do it whenever you can because it helps make sure that your yarn isn't tangled up and then you don't have to spend precious crochet time untangling the yarn, which will then make the project feel like it lasts forever. Um, believe me, I've been there, I've done that. It's why I now own two yarn winders and three Swifts because I never want to be without beautifully caked yarn to make it easier on myself, especially if I'm diving into like a market prep or shop updates or anything like that. If you sell on Etsy or you sell locally, sometimes you just wanna knock out a couple beanies and having caked up yarn is the best way to make sure that you don't have to waste time. Number three is using a comfy hook. So right now I'm using the happily hooked hook that comes when you subscribe to our digital crochet magazine, but I also have a handful of different ergonomic hooks that I also love to use. So you've seen my rainbow hook and my black hook. I also have a Susan Bates with a wooden handle on it. That's a really nice one. This is made by um, Julie who works here at Happily Hooked. She made this gorgeous wooden hook that has a perfect spot for my thumb that I love. I've got some clover hooks. It all just depends on how my hands feel that day, but always grab a comfy hook because you don't wanna be working with something that's going to make your hands hurt because then you're gonna crochet slower. It's just how it's going to be. Number four is practice. And I know that sounds redundant because obviously, but if you practice the same thing over and over and over again, you're going to get faster at it. So when I make granny squares, I can make a solid granny square in roughly four minutes now, including weaving in the ends because I've made so many of them that I can. And when it comes to the practicing, this is also tip number five, is time yourself. So if you are making like 40 scrunchies for an order or five washcloths or whatever, time yourself for each project and then see if you can beat it the next time. So if you are making, say, five dishcloths for a friend's present, crochet your first one and time it. And then write down that time and then go back and time your second one. And then time your third one and try to beat it every time. And eventually, obviously, you're going to get to a spot where you can't beat that time anymore. And... So that would just be your goal time when you're crocheting and it'll help you get a little bit faster every time. And then once you hit that like cap on how fast you can crochet, you'll be able to grab something else and then go to beanies and see how fast it can take you to make a beanie or how fast it can take you to make a blanket. And remember, you don't have to crochet fast. It doesn't make you a better or a worse crocheter if you crochet super fast or you crochet super slow. I just know that some people like to, to challenge themselves and to crochet faster, and that's totally okay. Some days I'll just sit there and work on a row and mosey along and it's totally fine, and other days I'll knock out like a whole blanket because that's what I wanted to do that day. But it doesn't make you a better or a worse crocheter, so don't think that that is a thing. And if you are unable to crochet faster, that's totally okay too. Um, there are some days where my arthritis is really bad and there's no way I'm gonna crochet fast that day. Um, I'll be lucky to even be able to pick up my hook. But just remember that these tips are just if you want to go faster, you totally don't have to. And we will never judge you for how quickly you crochet, especially here at Happily Hooked. You are welcomed and loved and appreciated and you crochet at whatever speed you want to. But I hope these five tips helped. And if you have any questions about them, just leave those in the comments below and I'll see if I can help out. And if not, I'll try and find you the answer. And yeah, here's my little rectangle that I made while we were talking. So I hope this helps and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.